Hi. Um, back in the early 90s, 1992, um, there was a massive, massive interest in Jerry Anderson, Thunderbirds, it hit the television screens, and in England, it just went completely apeshit. There was a massive interest in Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet, Stingray, anything Jerry Anderson, people went ballistic for it. And the toy companies fetched out a whole range of stuff. And jumping on the bandwagon, a lot of companies issued uh, tins of beans with Thunderbirds labels, chocolate bars and all that sort of stuff. So I bought masses and masses of stuff back in the early 90s, put them away. I've got some out. Um, and if there's any interest in these that I'm about to show, I might show some more on YouTube. Anyway. Thunderbirds went absolutely massive in the 90s. Um, if, if you're living in England, you'll know exactly what I mean. It, the interest was just phenomenal. Um, quite a lot of the stuff was intended for kids, children's play things. Quite a lot of it hasn't survived. A lot of the stuff were perishables like sweets, which were of the period and hardly anybody kept. Um, I did have a lot of the little articulated figures from Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet, Stingray and the quite unsuccessful with the space precinct but I've since sold all them years ago but I do have quite a lot of related stuff anyway I thought I'd show you these this is how a company jumped onto the bandwagon of Thunderbirds in order to cash in on it right now back in 1992 a company called Meltis of Bedford 1992 issued a Thunderbirds Thunderbird 3 chocolate rocket it's hollow molded chocolate rocket with a foil cover with an illustration of the thunderbird 3 on it now you can imagine how that would have appealed to a kid on the shelf of a shop so i bought this one i bought another identical one to this and because it was differently packaged i bought this one by the same company it's attractively packaged. Thunderbirds box appeals to the collector. This dates from 1992, so it's what 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 92, 2002, 2012, 2000, what 20, 20 years old, something like that. Nicely, nicely packaged. Again, it's got the same Thunderbird three in it in foil. It's got Thunderbird figures along the bottom. It's all hollow molded chocolate. However, when your darling little boy got one of these in 1992. He excitedly opened it, he ripped off the foil packaging. And do you know what's underneath that? Do you know what that's actually a chocolate thing of? Well, bear with me. I'll come up close with the head of this pen, I'll show you. Because I actually bought an additional one of those and I opened it back in 1992. And what's in it is, now if you just, just follow me a minute. Now if we look at that there, the top here, Ignore the foil cover, but the top is a hat, down here is a face, down here is a beard, this here is one curved arm, that's another curved arm, and that's a body, right? Still with me? Good. When you rip the foil off, what that is, it's a chocolate Father Christmas figure. And these Thunderbirds figures are chocolate Father Christmas's little helpers. So this is our one company in Bedford repackaged an existing item with a foil wrapper over a chocolate Father Christmas in order to cash in on the huge Thunderbirds craze. Now back in the day, something like that, I think that was 99 pence, that was a little bit more expensive, but now highly collectible thunderbirds memorabilia you can't find them now and i'm pretty certain that these will certainly be the only ones on youtube so these were issued by meltis of bedford to cash in on the thunderbirds craze back in 1992 so this this is the type of stuff that i've got squiddled away in various nooks and crannies and um, if if you're really interested i may get some more stuff out and showcase them as well so until the next time we'll see you again